Your wife? She's in Cleveland. She was. <laughs> Don't you answer your phone? Don't you knock? Where's your secretary? Out. She left a cigarette burning. She does that. Why don't you come back in one hour and make an appointment? Why bother? We're here. I'm busy. Doing what? I'm getting a pedicure. What's it to you? Now, this is going to turn out badly for you, but we can make it relatively painless. Why are you asking questions about dead lawyers? What dead lawyers? Who hired you to do that? Okay. Okay. Just let me think. His name was Julio Iglesias. No! No! Great. Just great. You want to ask him a few questions now? A while back, I thanked John Grisham for inspiring me to call myself America's Best Crime Rate. Thanks again, John. And the shoe fits perfectly. And if you don't believe me, let's check in with Cat Dip. Cat, what do you think about that? To have this opinion on this issue after all this time is almost remarkable to me. Thanks, Kat, for the verification and confirmation. Now, The Firm was John Grisham's second book, published in 1991. A legal thriller, it became so popular, Hollywood turned it into a movie two years later. The story is about a young lawyer who joins a prestigious Memphis law firm, then discovers that his firm has an entanglement of sinister associations and Sub Rosa dealers. Now, I threw in Sub Rosa, show up a little. Fancy way of saying secret, while at the same time implying some sort of shady espionage is going on. Sidney Pollock directed the movie. Both the book and the movie begin on the Harvard campus in Boston, move to Memphis, then take a couple side trips to the Cayman Islands where a shady relationship is revealed between the firm and a Chicago crime family. By the way, the book has one ending, while the movie has another. The movie boasts an outstanding cast. Tom Cruise plays an ambitious student graduating with honors from the Harvard Law School. Seduced by money and perks, he joins the small law firm in Memphis. Gene Triplehorn plays Mitch's wife. She's a third grade teacher in Boston when the story begins and does the same thing in Memphis after they move. However, a rift develops between them over a one-time fling. Gene Hackman plays a highly accomplished attorney and a partner at the firm. He becomes Mitch's mentor, but he's a sleazy dude who leads Mitch astray. And speaking about sleazy, Gary Busey plays a sleazy P.I., and Holly Hunter plays the sleazy P.I.'s private secretary and lover. Wilfred Brimley plays a former New Orleans detective who serves as the firm's chief security officer. Ed Harris plays a double-dealing FBI agent. David Strathern plays Mitch's brother, a convict who killed a man in a bar fight. First time I saw him in anything, but certainly not the last. He's racked up 140 acting credits and still going strong. I loved him in the movie Fracture and 12 episodes of The Blacklist. Karina Lombard plays a young woman who seduces Tom Cruise on a beach on Grand Cayman Island. And there's this hitman listed in the credits as the Squat Man, a professional hitman. 
He's on the screen for less than a minute. A scene that plays out in flickering light. But damn, I'm saying, man, that guy looks familiar. And then it hits me. He's in 61 episodes of Breaking Bad. DEA agent Hank Schrader. And he rolls over into two episodes of Better Call Saul. That's right. That's Dean Norris playing the squat man. You just never know who you're going to find somewhere when it's least expected. And now, a quick plug for Caribbean Queen. The action starts when Duke Fox takes his girlfriend to a Flyers ice hockey game in Philadelphia. But a few days later, he gets fired, catches his girlfriend in bed with another man, and totals his car while he's trying to avoid hitting a deer. To take his mind off his problems, he takes a trip to the island of St. Croix. There, he meets his Caribbean queen, but he also finds himself thrust in the midst of an unsolved murder. Then, he uses super smooth skills to lead the police to the kill. So, that's it for today. Thank you very much for stopping in. Until next time. See you. And that's a wrap.